Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the LVDS cable on a MacBook Pro Retina screen, 13 inch or 15 inch from 2012 up through early 2015. So we're going to start by sliding the clutch cover to the right and then removing it. Set that aside. Next, we are going to remove the hinge screws. And then you'll see there are Phillips screws, there are PH000 screws located here, one in here, one over here, 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 and that should be about it. Go ahead and remove those. I'll put a link in the video description below for where I got my toolkit that I'm using to repair the screen with. It's just an iFixit toolkit. Um, I found that I've used this toolkit to fix a vast number of devices over the years and it's really very useful to have on hand. So there's going to be a piece of tape located here. You're going to need to carefully peel that back and then the little cover here should lift away. There we go. All right, so now we have the connector for the screen exposed right here. We're going to take our new cable. There's a gold side and there's a silver side. The silver side connects to the screen. The gold side connects to the MacBook logic board. It goes contact side up. This is the bottom side. This is the top side. So it slides in place. Like so, this little hinge clips over there, then your tape goes back down on top, just like that. You'll go ahead and put your cover back down on top of it here. Just put these screws back in. So your little tape here actually goes on top the tape actually goes on top of the black plastic cover here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that back off. There we go. So that's better. Tape goes on top of there to hold that in place. Then we have this screw here. The tiny screws go in the holes at the bottom. There's two of those. Awesome. Okay, so now you'll flip this back over the cable here the cable here goes into this slot basically this little area right here flips over then the cable goes in here you have to put your hidden screws back in it's best if you put the screws in their holes first so that you don't damage the LVDS cable. You can go ahead, work your screws in, start them both off, then finish one, then the other. Make sure they're nice and tight so your display doesn't flop around. When you reconnect it, to the main body of the Mac. So after that, we have to get the black clutch cover, realign it, on the right side, the 
then slide it back in place. It might take you a few tries. And that looks to be good. Awesome. Now we have the new LVDS connector. And let's see if that solved the issue that we were having with our backlight. So just some other notes I wanted to make about reassembly, even though I didn't show the disassembly, is that these three screws up here, these are all T8s. This one is a T5. Same thing over here, these are all T8s. This one is a T5. These T8s are all the same length. So you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. And then same thing about these two T5s. They're both the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting those mixed up either. Um, always make sure to disconnect your battery as soon as you get the back cover off before you do anything. It's very important. And then drain the onboard capacitors by holding your power button down for 10 seconds before you do anything. Be very careful with this connector Somebody who worked on this MacBook before me wasn't careful when they slotted this cable back into the onboard connector and they bent and broke off pin zero, which is the backlight pin. And that's why I lost backlight on my system. So just be very careful when you slide this back in here. Now let's see if my backlight issue has been resolved right after I put the back cover back on this MacBook. All right, so now for the moment of truth. Let me go ahead and turn on the MacBook here. And we are getting the Apple logo, so the problem does appear to be resolved. The issue was the LVDS cable and the fact that the backlight pin had been bent. All right, so thank you for watching my video. Please like it if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer not just this question, but any question that you may have regarding MacBooks um, Windows desktops, laptops, iPhones, iPads, Android phones. I've been a repair technician for the past five plus years, so if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. All right, see you guys in the next video.